I'm Grace Baez and I'm from New York. I come from Puerto Rican parents, second generation that's been born and raised here. My name is Eduardo Nabori Torres, so I come from a Puerto Rican background, both mother and father, both born and raised in the Bronx in New York City, so we're considered to be New Yorkans. And my mother is Nelida, Nelida Tirado, who is a flamenco dancer. My name is Laura Peralta, or Laura Peralta, depending on how you prefer to say it. I'm from New York, born and raised. My family is mostly from the Dominican Republic. Um, my parents immigrated here before I was born. I'm Adriana Olivares, I am, I am Venezuelan, born and raised. <laughs> my name is Doran Mowgli-Smith, and I'm from New York. My heritage is Boricua and Aniyunwia, which is the indigenous name for Cherokee Nation. My name is Nelida Tirado. I am from New York. I was born in New York, New York City. My family is from Puerto Rico, and I was born in New York City. Dime Quien Soy is my lived and personal experience as a traditional flamenco artist. It's me moving unapologetically, fully embodying all the layers that make me who I am. These layers, though they're separate, are intertwined and intersect in all of our bodies the music and in history, and they serve as fuel and inspiration for us. The dancers and myself represent diverse dance and cultural traditions that inform our approach to flamenco. Flamenco and all of the forms referenced in the work are specific and have been created due to globalization, colonization, and the mixing of cultures. I felt it was really important to amplify this interactions with family, experiences at home, the street, politics, etc. all inform what flamenco culture is. This appears in the dance and is literally referenced in the music. I would hope that when people see Vime Gen Soy, firstly, I, I hope that they feel a sense of love, a sense of community, that they see how connected we all are, how being authentic and bringing your true forth into your art is necessary. I'm grateful for all of the experiences that I had, both in my neighborhood and in my history, uh, my racial history. If it wasn't for those textures, I think that my flamenco would probably be a little bit different. Flamenco to me is what really opened my eyes when it comes to the arte, the art. I remember just watching my mother and many other shows where they just stand there and they project this huge, powerful energy and I couldn't explain what that was, but that itself really drew me in to want to learn about dance period. So flamenco really opened up my eyes as far as wanting to dance. We all, again, we have the same root without even realizing it. We take things from other dances and other cultures and blend it into this project, which is, again, why I love it. This is not uh, limited to, I would say, uh, a, a particular dance. You know, this is very limitless. It's all about 
the story of human suffering <laughs> all into uh, happiness and joy and how we can find that with each other. So, My teacher, uh, Ciudy Quintero, said that Latin woman is prepared to dance flamenco. Yeah. Always. Is born to, born to do it. And because he has in the DNA, I don't know. It's something that we have, like uh, we bring more, something different to that. Flamenco has helped me find my flamenca <laughs> in me. I'm able to have my own personal style with it. Being here has really made me embrace the nature inside of me and in my dancing. I always go back to comforting, but that's just what it is. It's so comforting to be able to feel free. I'm taking more risks, which I think is the first steps into feeling more grounded in flamenco. So hopefully in a few more years, <laughs> I will really feel that, that sense of, of being grounded in flamenco, which is so essential to the art form. Look at me, at Jacob's Pillow with Nelly. Who would have thought? <laughs> Everything that I'm learning from Nelly is allowing me to harness more of what comes through me. Sometimes I just do a movement because I feel like I, I, it has to be done, and then I learn about the meaning later, and it's more of a confirmation of what I already felt internally. And I notice it throughout the world, and I notice the relations and connections of different cultures and groups. This actually was an idea that I had from years ago. Before I ran it with, by anyone, I ran it by my son and I ran it by the composer, his name is Gonzalo Grau. And he's Venezuelan, like Adriana. And he totally got me, he understood. We were on a Zoom call the other day with the guitarist as well, and the guitarist is Andres Vadin. Again, when I explained the vision behind this, and he heard some of the music that was done, he totally got it because he is also a really amazing flamenco guitarist but he also has all of these other textures that he just kind of like can go with because of who he is, because of the same reasons he's Cuban. And it's been a really amazing collaboration with the both of them. The rhythms that we hear constantly are rhythms that we would probably hear around the way anyway. There's games that are literally incorporated into the show and that were games that we played on the streets in the city that are all rhythm and all clapping. And if we look back into history and we start to really, where did this stuff come from? Where did these things come from? There's such it goes back so far, like I was just reading something on Pat and Juba and how they use these movements, this is the movements the slaves did. It's a lot of research that should be done, but we are, so, we are so deeply, deeply, deeply connected to one another and we carry all of those experiences without us realizing it into our art and all we can be and all we should be is authentic because through that authenticity, you bring so much of your personal essence and color. And everyone has that in this group. I'm really excited that and honored to have all of them. Why? To uphold and honor with the utmost respect, to give permission to be, to remind, and to liberate us from the limitations and stereotypes placed upon us continually.
Did you share it with? It's different. Really? 